You know, I I don't really know uh, what can be done. Obviously, it's it's a need, and um, it's something that is important and should be you know represented. But um, you know, I don't really I don't really have I I don't make the rules for the ACMs, and I don't necessarily know how uh, all the intricacies of, of the workings of the ACMs go. So I don't I don't really know. But you know, um, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a requirement. I don't know. Well, I think there's there's places for all things in all music, and uh, everybody's kind of influenced by other things. And I think it's important to always bring those influences in when you can. And I'm fortunate enough to bring my actual influences in to make a record with me. And you know, who gets to do that? Now, that's that's incredible. And so I'm going to do that. You know, I've always done that. You know, Robert Turner's played on records of mine. Uh, Mickey Raphael's played on records of mine. You know, it's I, to get these musicians who. Uh, have formed all these records that I've listened to over the years that kind of uh, always are informing how I think musically and then to get to play with them and, and make new music with them. Well, that's, that's an awesome thing. Well, I, you know, I've only recently started to do a little bit of Zoom writing and I've, I've, I've tried some of that with, and a lot of it with new, uh, you know, new people that I haven't written with before. And that's kind of an interesting thing, you know, and I, I enjoy all ways of writing and it doesn't necessarily, um, you know, bother me to do. I, I prefer to be in a room with somebody. I prefer to be in the same kind of general vicinity with somebody because I think that informs in a different way. But it can, you know, it's been fun to, to find new ways. And certainly for me, there are some things that have gotten written with some people um, that I normally wouldn't have written with um, because of the pandemic. I, absolutely, 100% that's informed uh, what I've been doing. And, you know, we've all had to find new ways to do what we do. Uh, not just musicians, and and that's uh, that's been part of it. It's always very special, and, and I missed her very much tonight. But I was so happy that uh, Miranda agreed to fill in, kind of last minute. Uh, I think my sister-in-law's in labor right now. She may be on her way to the hospital. I'm not sure. So um, that my wife was kind of on baby watch. So uh, and for once, not her own baby. But uh, it's uh, it's been a an interesting night tonight. So uh, lots to celebrate and. Um, you know, the awards are just part of it. I don't think there's anything that I am looking forward to more than that. And, and then to get back out, at, you know, there's small, you know, victories we're having about reemerging all of us, getting to do things. And, and this is one of them tonight for me, you know, to get to come out and do this and, uh, you know, sit on a bus outside the Bluebird with, you know, and then have, you know, have a couple cocktails and, and enjoy a night, you know, like I, we, I've been sitting at the house like everybody else wondering when, we get to get back out out there and do things, and and so it's it was a really wonderful night for me, and I'm and there's nothing I'm looking forward to more than seeing the faces of people out in the crowd and hearing them sing back to me, and hopefully hearing some of these new songs sung back back to us because that's when music really gets life to me is when uh, you know I can write a song and I can record a song and I can sing it in a room by myself, but it doesn't mean a whole lot until it goes out to somebody out in an audience or somebody sitting at home listening or somebody listening in their car, that's when it gets meaning. And so for me, that's the thing I'm most looking forward to is to get back out into the world and see people and have play music with them and enjoy that experience that we have together in a room uh, playing live music.